Yo, what's going on guys? They're already reading Die of Wimpy the Cheese King. This is another really long fan fiction, so if you guys want to support me and like these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. It's absolutely free and I really appreciate the support. It really motivates me to make more because these videos take like over an hour to like uh, read and edit. So yeah, anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys any longer. Let's get straight into it with Die of Wimpy the Cheese King trilogy. Now this is um, a, like... I, I'm going to be reading all three of these books in one video. This is, first of all, The Cheese King. We're starting off with this one. Then we're moving on to Fuel for Uprising, which is part two. And finally, finishing off with The Return of Manise, which is Manny and Cheese fused together, I guess. And yeah, this book takes place uh, after page, like, 70-something of Dire of Kid Hard Luck, the eighth book, where Rowley got a girlfriend, so uh, Greg just ditched them. They kind of ditched each other. It was a mutual ditching. So yeah, let's get right into it with Dire of Kid, the Cheese King. Manny and the Cheese are one. Wednesday. I went to school. I saw Fragley. Ever since Rowley ditched me, I decided to be friends with Fragley. I told him about the five-second rule, so he dropped the piece of candy and ate it. And like last time, he became unstable. I thought he would chase me, but he did something worse. He went crazy and started kidnapping people. Then he ran to my house. I didn't want to know what he would do next, so I ran after him. I was too late. He grabbed Manny. Everybody came outside to see. It was actually kind of satisfying. I mean, look how happy Manny looks. He seems like screams and squeals of joy. Manny kind of deserved it, but then Manny bit Fragley. He fell towards the cheese and touched it. Then he changed. His head became flatter and yellowish. His head had holes in it. Fragley thought that was food and tried to eat him, but Manny touched Fragley, and Fragley popped out of existence. Manny killed him. He said he was a demon who took many forms. Looks good to me. Say cheese. Oh, look, he's just in... He's, he's been here all along since the first settlers, and there's the War of 1812 or something. Okay, out of all families he could have reincarnated into, it had to be mine. Everybody ran. I went home to tell Mum and Dad. They said it's fine. <laughs> Are they they're really not that scared? Then Manny came. I hid under a table. My town made a newspaper about it. The Daily Herald. Manny Heffley, who's had his cheese, claims to be a demon. He responds by saying, I'm own we three. Vice Principal Roy claimed one of the students said that Manny Heffley touched the cheese and absorbed it. Thursday. Ever since Manny touched the cheese, people have been making memes about me just because I'm related. Roderick seems scared too, but my parents don't. Mom said her family's coming over this week, so when they came, they were shocked to see Manny. I drew my yard, but they were busy asking Manny some questions. How'd you get the cheese? Write it down. While Manny is there with his fame, I'm sitting alone. It was time for the Easter egg hunt. I stayed inside. I would not go next to that monstrosity. I didn't have school today because the school closed because of Manny. Or Manny's. Good one, right? So Aunt Audra's psychic said that the ring that Mima wore before she died was in a photo album. So they realized that her psychic didn't mean literally in it, so they saw the clue. Preparing for the Easter egg hunt, Mima's famous applesauce. So now everyone dashed outside, and the ring, I guess, is when one of the eggs. Obviously, you know this if you read Hard Luck. Because Manny erased one of Roderick's bandmates, so we left. Uh, now I know why Roderick was so scared of Manny. Tuesday, I saw something under Roderick's bed. It was a magic eight ball, so I asked it questions. Did Fragley deserve to die? Surprisingly, it totally got me. It is certain. I asked some more. I wanted to ask it some more questions. See, this is what I need. Something to make all the decisions for me. Mom told me to go outside. I asked the magic eight ball if I should, and it said no. I went to Mom's room, then I saw books. Then I knew why they were hidden. And it's just how to talk to today's he teens. Unplugging your kids. Preventing picky eaters. Taming your defiant child, making them love re making them love reading, raising a prodigy, reversing sibling rivalry, ultra parenting, bad wedding for beginners, raising decent human beings. I saw my body blanket. Long story short, short, I wore it, went to school, I couldn't get out, I was reported, mom came, vice principal Roy said that if my grades don't improve, I'll go to summer school. Monday, I put the magic eight ball where I found it. I realized I had to make a project. I grabbed some money from, from Manny's square jar, I went to Eric Glick's hideout. I decided to buy a project, then Manny came in. Who stole my money? Where's my money, man? I pinned the whole thing on Eric and ran. Manny killed him. I closed my eyes so I didn't have to endure it. Then I opened them. Thursday. Today, yesterday, Abigail broke up with Rowley. People said the only reason she got together was to make Michael jealous. Today I wrote the project, but Mom said I had to type it. Today I typed it. I saw Rowley, Manny... And I saw Rally. Manny came. He told me if he found out that I stole it. He said either he kills me or Rally. I'm upset Rally ditched me, but I didn't want him to die, so I did what was right. Don't kill Rally. Kill me instead. He put his hands up. And he put his hand up and tried to touch me. He got closer. Then Roger came. He told Manny that I didn't steal it. Manny said who did. Roderick said Eric Glick forced me to. 
so I was off the hook. Wow, maybe my brother isn't so bad after all. I went home. Rally came to my house. Thanks for what? Saving me. Well, it was nothing. My life is not nothing. So, friends? I became friends with Rally again. I can't believe that I did something selfless. I guess I'm not the only one, the only one that matters. I'll be famous, but having friends is better. Friday. Mom woke me up. I was going to play Twisted Wizard. Out of the blue, this happens. Pack your bags! We're going on a road trip! I was nervous. The last time we brought Manny out in the open, he killed someone. We b b b b bashously taped his hands. Don't ask me how we did that, but we tried loading the car, but there wasn't enough space. So we put the rest of the boat that Dad had. Manny tried eating my stuff. I gave it to him because I didn't want to die. So what it looks like is just going to go through like the books because it, we it, all this happened during hard luck and we it went through hard luck and now we're going into the long haul. However, if you watched, I'm going to have to plug my video. If you watched my video, the true Wimpy Kid timeline, then you know this isn't how it goes, but it's all right. Mom pulled out Flat Stanley. Mom turned on the Spanish CDs, but Roderick didn't want it. Change it. So we played a game where if you're guilty of do for doing it, that, then you get a point. Mom read the card. I killed someone. We all know who did that. He ba Manny basically won. So after we're done playing, Manny started to cry. We couldn't put a big old pacifier in his mouth. He doesn't even have one. He doesn't even get hungry or thirsty. Roderick went out to get the food. He came back with food we weren't expecting. We got some Coca-Cola. Some cinnamon Pepsi's better, though. I'm sorry, I have to say it. Let, let me know in the comments if you guys like Pepsi or Coca-Cola better. He got, he got some frozen pizza, some cheese curls, some uh, bubble gum, and some cinnamon rolls. We went to a hotel. It wasn't exactly quality. After we were done, we went to bed, then I heard a scream. Manny erased someone. I came to see, but there was nothing. Saturday. When I woke up, we went to a country fair. I just hope Manny doesn't kill anyone. Manny saw the livestock tent, and he said he wanted to go there. People were scared, but still gave him the pig anyways. We went to a hotel. This time it looked better. We put the pig in a bath tube. Sunday. When I woke up, I saw Manny throwing food to the pig. I was shocked to see where he got the food from. We paid for it was the mini bar, I'm guessing. We paid for the food. We got in the car. Dad said he had to take a call. Roderick started chewing gum. Manny was mad at him, though. He leaped to touch Roderick. He missed, but he tipped over the cooler. I, he tried to put the pig back in, but it ran. Mom grabbed it, but she kicked the radio. Dad was freaking out. He turned off the radio and pushed the brakes. Mom got the pig back and had Manny calm down. Mom and Dad decided to give the pig away. Manny was mad. He tried to touch Dad, but he missed, but Dad lost control of the car. We crashed off-road. Me and Roderick decided to get out. Manny tied Mom and Dad. He turned on the car and jumped out. That's when he did something I'll never forget. To be continued. Alright, part two. Diary of Wimpy Kid, Fuel for Uprising. Monday. Yesterday I watched the car burn to ashes. That ploopy killed my parents. I never liked them, but they didn't deserve this. This is Fragley's fault for starting this, but he's dead. Me and Roderick kept waiting for cars to come. They finally picked us up. They offered to drive us home. I got home. Today I felt depressed and angry. I then looked outside. There Manny was, erasing people, going on a killing spree. I closed the curtains. Manny started building mandroids and grabbing weapons. He got all those from the dark web. I saw the magic eight ball. I decided to give a, a one good shake. I said if I could stop Manny. He said yes. I didn't think a whim could stop a demon, but let's try. I decided not to give up. First, I had to assemble a team. I got Rally on my team. He was mad. Rally killed his, Manny killed his death. He jumped out the window and landed in the bush. He said he wasn't. He was gonna get revenge. I guess Joshy isn't too bad after all. I recruited Roderick, Shrog, and Bri Bryce. Shrog said he had some someone he to show me. Shrog told me that my mom and dad crawled out of the debris. Some people found mom and dad. One of them was a doctor and quit bandages and gave them an the artificial heart. I told mom and dad what Manny was doing. Manny was building, ma busy banking mandroids and recruiting people. We got more people on our team. We got snowballs, but inside were bombs. We started building a snow castle. Oh, also, we got the snow from my freezer, which I've been saving. Then Manny came. He said I should have stayed out of this. Manny threw a snowball at us, and it exploded. That Manny copied our idea. I ran to punch Manny in the ploopy. He told me that man. He told the mandroids to shoot me. They had real guns. I ran in the car. I started it and ran over people. Felt good to be the hero. I'm not a sociopath anymore. I'm not a wimp either. For once, I'm not standing alone. I grabbed the gun and shot people. I unleashed my power and destroyed the androids. I saw Manny running. What a coward. Get back here, you coward. Everyone on my side was struggling. Roderick bashed someone with a drum to avenge his bandmate. His mom and dad were spraying water in people's eyes. Roderick was scared. I chased after Manny. Rally, Raleigh was running from a mob. I couldn't blame him. 
I grabbed Manny, but he kicked a wall and threw me backwards. He escaped and knocked me out. I was in an abandoned warehouse. I was tied up. Manny came. He was happy. He said he got his pig back. He said, the pig will eat me. Luckily, people came in. They untied me. I grabbed the pig and ran. I tried hiding in a room. It was just a sketchy washroom, I guess. Then I heard screaming. Manny banged on the door. I couldn't watch it. He almost starved our family last Christmas, but this? Manny really is going on a killing spree. I put the pig on a toilet. I saw, I saw Manny sliding something. It was a paper. I read it. I know you're out there, Bobby. I will catch you and kill you. I will make it a slow and painful death. I will kill all your comrades. You will lose, Manny. You know what, Manny? I'm not scared. I opened the door. Uh, Manny came. I grabbed the gun. He swiped it. He said he was going to execute me. He told me to bring his pig, but I resisted. I will never listen to that ploopy. He found the pig by himself. He hugged it, but he forgot that it would kill it. it. He cried. Oh, wait. Oh, that makes sense. See, I, I, it took me a while to process that. Yeah, he cried. Yeah, Manny killed the pig. Nice going, Manny. What a ploopy. He had me at gunpoint. He told me to turn around. I did. He blamed me for the pig's death. I saw the exit. I dashed out to see bright daylight. Manny tied me up. He threw me in a car. He got lighter and spilled kerosene. I knew what he was going to do. I tried to escape, but I would get all burned. I fell unconscious. When I woke up, I saw Roger. Well, you know what? Manny, this is the second time somebody's escaped your little car kerosene contraption. Maybe just touch them and kill them next time. Doesn't that make sense? Anyway, what happened? He told me he found out and got me out of the car. He put bombs in his backpack. I can make a very bad joke right now, but I'm not. I'm trying to keep this video monetized. Hashtag 1K grind. I'm never saying that again. You guys can unsubscribe after I said that. I'm very sorry. He said he, we are still fighting. I got out of the bay, bed. I asked where Manny was. Roddick said he didn't know. I came up with a plan. Oh, and I accidentally switched off of this again. How many times is this going to happen to me? All right, there we go. The, the second time it happened, I cut it out the first time. I'm just going to leave it, and I give up at this point. We're going to set up a decoy. I threw the, I drew the plan. I will hijack a mandarin and shoot Manny when he's not looking. So I learned coding, but Manny put a warn function, so I used disable. I pushed the button, so I shot Manny when he wasn't looking, but he survived. He attacked our base. I abandoned it. Me and Rally were lost. It was cold, and we had our jackets. Then I ran smack into Manny. Wait, how are his feet reaching, like, the car pad or whatever? Not gonna think about it. Believe it or not, we actually leaped across the car. Rally was scared. Manny was on our trail. We dashed through the woods, but I knew Manny's car was faster than our legs, so I dodged at the last second. I went around in circles. Manny grabbed his gun. Then I saw a helicopter and jumped. Manny climbed into it. I tried kicking him. He tried to touch me. I saw mom and dad. They said to open my parachute, or whatever that was. Rally was scared again. He may have traveled across the world, but he has never done this. Is that paragliding? I think that's paragliding. I don't know what it's called. This was the adventure of a lifetime. I jumped to a roof. I slid down. Wow, I'm like the real James Bond. Manny went to a plane. He launched the nukes. Wait, when did he get nukes? He said he hijacked the world's nukes and decided to eliminate any rebellion against him. I have to warn everyone. Roger called all his friends to tell them. We hopped in an abandoned car. We drove it. We drove in it. I prayed the nuke wouldn't hit us. I played some games on my phone. I finally got a new update on Twisted Wizard. Let's go, Greg. When, when, no, when the whole world's getting nuked, but you gotta grind. Uh, I could respect that. We finally reached our destination. Then we prepared for impact. We had to get out of here. We evacuated everybody. When we got to my plane, the nuke exploded my home. We scavenged what we have. If Manny did that to plane view, who knows what he could do to the rest of the world. I have to stop him. We have to stop him. I launched a bomb at Manny. He chases that. Wait, how, where, where'd he get it? Oh yeah, the snowball bombs. That makes sense. I told Dad to steer the plane. Manny launched at us. So I used an actual parachute. I watched as the plane exploded. My family jumped out too. When I landed in the water, I shot a flare. After I got help, I chased Manny. That ploopy escaped many times, but not now. He won't. I saw him running to launch the nuke. I grabbed it and beat the ploopy out of him. He tried to touch me, which I forced, which forced me to let go. He grabbed the rocket launcher. Roderick bashed Manny with his drums. Manny hit Roderick with the rocket launcher. I told him to get. I got out of the way before the rocket launcher exploded. Manny survived, but he threatened to kill Roderick. But he kicks Roderick. I kicked Manny. Okay, that works. Uh, he got angry. He chased Roderick and cornered him. 
Bomb and Dad busted in. They sprayed Manny. He fell in the basement. I grabbed the gun. He kept running, making every attempt to press the nuke button. Roderick and me were guarding it. Mom and Dad were finding Manny. Manny came. He said he wanted to apologize. I didn't trust him. He wanted a killing spree and launch the nuke. Mom told me to lower my gun. I did. Then Manny came closer. I realized he just wanted to erase Mom, so I got Mom out of the way. Before any Manny could do anything, my cavalry busted in. Manny was outnumbered, but he kept erasing people. He charged at me. Wait, how is it this hard to, like, erase just the named characters? Like, I feel like Manny could do some easy damage. Like, he could just go on a killing spree if he really wanted to. Like, he could easily kill, like, everybody. Like, what's stopping him? Wait, 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 hold on. He pushed Manny out of the way? Or no, he pushed his mom out of the way. Never mind, that makes sense. Okay, anyway, I, I, I'm... Yeah, I'm sorry. So I did something unexpected. Never gonna give you up? What the fuck? Rickrolling him only made him angrier. I ran away, but I'm not a wimp. I've encountered him a lot of times. We chased Manny, but he threw bombs at us. He crawled under a table. Everyone followed me. When he threw another bomb, it landed in my hand. Luckily, I had good reflexes and threw it back. Manny fell on a window. He stabbed at him. He tied up Roderick and threatened to throw him over the window. That made everybody freeze. Seriously, I know I like Roderick now, but I never thought everyone did. One step out and Wadwick one step and Wadwick goes out the window. I didn't know what to do. Manny went next to the button. I couldn't let him push it. I leaped towards Manny. I saved Roderick. Manny pointed the gun at me. He told me that it was too late and I can't stop him. I shot the bullet. Everything seemed to happen in slow motion. The, I felt the bullet moving slowly. I moved out of the way and put the bullet in Manny. Everything became real time. I saw Manny falling off. We sliced his guts and threw him out the window. His hand ripped into half. He survived. He told me I should have gone for the head. I tried to make everything go slowly again, but it didn't work. I had to feel like I was impatient and waiting. Everything became slow. Put the bullet in Manny and grabbed the chainsaw. When everything became real time, I sliced Manny's head off. He got burned by a flamethrower. I don't know if that's a to-be-continued spot. That seems more of, like, a the end. I don't know if... Like, that one there was a violation. He's not coming back from that one. Part 3. The Return of the Mannies. Let's go. Tuesday. Ever since I killed Manny, life was getting better. I just unplugged my headphones. Great. I just can't hear anything. Nope, there's much to hear. All right, no, never mind. Restart, restart, restart. All right, guys. Part 3. Return of the Mannies. Let's go. Tuesday. Ever since I killed Manny, life was getting better. I don't have to suffer from embarrassment from him calling me Bubby, and I have more attention from Mom. I even logged into my net creditors. All I had to do was read Manny's diary. Thursday. I have... I'm not gonna... I can't... I'm sorry. Like, I, I can't read that. If you guys can read that, then please comment below, and I will PayPal you uh, 69 cents. His handwriting was sloppy. He said he, I hope he hopes I don't find out my password is one macto. Now, while I'm at the dance, oh, it just said, okay, nobody's getting PayPal net anymore. I gave my pet food and clothes. That seemed to do it. Gregory's little friend is feeling snazzy. Speaking of diary, I decided to snoop some more, but on Rowley's diary. Today, I was ready to fight R Greg's brother. I ran from a mob. I hope Greg doesn't think poorly of me. After that, Manny chased us. We leapt over a car. It was really scary. Greg seemed so brave. Why couldn't I be like that? I watched Ray kill Manny. Finally, I felt safe. Don't worry, Rally. It's fine to be scared. Anyways, Mom told me that Roderick should go to college. Then we heard a scream. I thought it was the plastic witch we were getting from Halloween. Roderick said his bandmates were down there. When we checked, we saw no one. I was scared. Just when I was going to put the past behind me, I went to school. Rally was excited to see me. My friend Greg saved the town. After Rally was done milking it, I saw someone spraying something. Greg helpfully saved the school. I want, okay, fine. It was pretty cool. Anyways, so when I was younger, Manny grabbed the knife. Mom didn't even know. Manny tried to stab Roderick. Luckily, Mom came in, so Manny went back. Today, I went home on the way. Rowley tripped and fell in dog poop, and that was the end of that. Wednesday. Today, I saw Manny's diary running on the f lying on the floor. I picked it up and read it. Wednesday. I I'm sorry. Like I can't. I can't read that. He was alive. He said he will go to my room and kill me. Oh, there's a translation underneath. That's nice. Oh, no. I told Bum what happened. Ronnie must have killed Roderick's bandmates. This was bad. How was he alive? I grabbed the gun and waited for Manny to come. I waited for hours. He suddenly came and knocked me out. I was in the room and was wait. Wait, how did he knock you out without touching you? Whatever. He was in the room and was waiting for me the whole time. 
I asked how he was alive, and he said he in reincarnated and touched the cheese to get his power. He said he was tired of sparing me, so he was going to throw me in the lava. He trapped me in a cage. Luckily, I picked the lock. I ran out, and he recruited some people. He told them to shoot everybody in my school. I have to stop him. Okay, so... Uh, I, I don't think I could put that in the video, but whatever, I'll just push YouTube's, um, terms and services, I guess, but whatever. I guess that, that was just unfortunate wording from this LLB. Manny, you'll regret this. Manny was gonna kill everyone. I rushed to tell everyone, but they were at the party. Luckily, Mum brought her car to the house. I will stop at him and save everyone like I did before. I knocked on the door. The person at the door were confused why I wasn't wearing a costume. But he ignored that. I saw Manny. He was going to kill everyone. I grabbed the gun and tried to shoot him. But he escaped. Everyone freaked out. So Mum was mad. I think she thinks I have autism now. So Manny got away scot-free. Thursday. Everyone was mad at me. They wouldn't let me sit at any table. Luckily, Rowley's nice. I told him about Manny. He believed me. He even made a comic. Breaking news, killer on the loose. At least Manny is dead. Oh no, he's alive. Zooey mama. <gasps> he said it. He said it. He said Zooey. No way. Manny is narcissistic. I should have ri ri Rally should write that. I went home and I thought I saw Manny, but when I blinked, he was gone. Not without leaving a note. Gonna kill you, Bubby. I noticed the stereo was on and I was not ready for what I had to see. Uh oh, Bill, run. Manny's coming. It was confirmed Manny was a true psychopath. I had to do something. I called Rowley to tell him. He said that he was angry because his dad was a race, so his mom took care of him. So he said he can't come over. Great. I couldn't find Roderick or my parents anywhere, so I grabbed the gun. I felt like it was yesterday. Manny touched the cheese. I heard Manny. You had your chance, Bubby. I hid under my I hid under my bed. Manny walked in. He opened my drawer. But that was only to eat my candy. If that's a price I have to pay to distract him, so be it. Fortunately, he discovered he didn't have a mouth, so it went through the holes, which annoyed him. He turned and saw me. Uh-oh. I tripped. He came closer. I flicked a coin that hit a bomb, and the bomb went off. Crashed out the window in the bush. My house burned. I dashed in the woods. Manny came closer. He said my life is over. But then the craziest thing happened. And he, Manny gets hit by the loaded diaper van. So heroic. I asked him where he was. He said he was kidnapped, but Rowley saved them. I asked him who them was. And he said, him, mom, and dad. Everybody freeze. Then Rowley came. He found them being kidnapped in a car. So he then followed the car. So now I have to stop Manny. I jumped in a car. And mom and dad were inside. We discussed the plan. Rowley told me Shirog's dad made a portal to hell. We will slice his head and put him in there. He can't reincarnate. I went home with Rowley. We drew his attention. Come out, Manny, you coward. He came. Time to run. He went in our house. Oh, also, Mom repaired the burned house. Shirog got the portal open. He must have, He grabbed a gun, but he fired everywhere. Damn, he must have known. Shirog pressed the button. The door slammed. He fired at Shirog. Hit Shirog in the chest, but he survived. Manny was going crazy. Mom, Dad, Roderick, Rowley, and Shrug, me and me all banded together. Roderick body slammed Manny. Wait, how is he not dead? Manny's touching him. If Roderick dies, that'll be a shame. The portal opened. It sucked everything. Mom and Dad held on. Rowley shot Manny in the heart. He survived, but I gave him one more last kick to kill him. To kill him. Go to hell, you stupid ploopy. Manny lost blood and died. His corpse fell in the portal and burned. After that, the portal shut down. We fixed our house, put the portal away. I thank Shrug and Rally for helping me, and Roderick, thank you. I think I'm getting to, I'm getting used to his drums. I'm at school. It's going great. Rally told everyone that I wasn't making up making up Manny coming back, so everyone apologized. They started treating me as a hero. I even got Holly Hills back as a girlfriend. All this led up because of all of this led up because of Fragley. So thanks, Fragley. This is more than I could have ever asked for. It's Christmas and we're planning our island getaway. I'm excited to see what will happen next. The end. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the Cheese King trilogy. That was like shorter than I expected. That was like I don't think that was more than thirty minutes, but it was still nice nonetheless. And I'm gonna keep reading these long fan fiction. I'm also gonna be doing like one short a week. I'm gonna try and do more than like fanfic co um, content. I've had a couple cool ideas um, for Wimpy Kid content other than that. But yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe if we do. And in advance, thank you for 400 subscribers because I know we're gonna hit it sometime soon. And if you see that we're at 400 subscribers or we're not at 400 subscribers, either way, hit the subscribe button, support me, and get more content. I guess. I don't know. Anyway, bye.